Hey, what's up guys? Hey, dude, why are you filming down here? I, I told you we're not doing all that. We're not a cooking channel. We're here to learn how to cook a steak. This is a learning channel. I'm gonna learn how to cook a steak and you're gonna watch. And by watching me, maybe you'll learn a little something yourself. The goal is to learn how to cook a perfect steak medium rare. We had the worst steak we probably ever had last night. That joint is like raw. Was it bad? Trash. Trash. I want to be strong, you know? I want to be toxically masculine. What's more toxically masculine than eating a steak? So the first thing that I did was I went to YouTube and I typed in how to cook a steak. We looked for the videos with the clearest instructions, highest view count, and we checked to see what worked for other viewers by looking at the comments. Here's what I learned from watching all these boring <laughs> steak videos on YouTube, so you don't have to. I'm learning. One, make sure the steak is room temp and dry. Step two, Generously season both sides with salt and pepper. Step three, before you cook, make sure the pan is roaring hot. Step four, char both sides for around two minutes. Step five, baste that shit with garlic butter until it's 125 degrees Fahrenheit. And six, let it rest before you serve it, around six to 10 minutes. All right, so the first thing that we did was we got three New York strip steaks. They're around 1.5 to two inches thick each. Trust me, I know my two inches. Bruh. Not a cooking YouTuber. So a super important step here is apparently you need to leave the steak out for around 20 to 30 minutes. Make sure that it's room temperature so it's evenly cooked on both sides. And then you want to remove all the excess moisture before you season the steak. Next step is to generously salt and pepper each side of the steak enough until the ancestors come down and say, that's enough. That's, that's enough. Next, you want the pan roaring. I'm talking like burning. I'm talking like that shit is hot as f and then you want to throw some oil on there. Next up, lay, lay the steaks away. away. Always away from you. Easy, easy. I could be a cooking YouTuber if I wanted to. I could. You're lucky I don't come in your lane. So when you first get the steak on the pan, you want to let it sit there for about a minute or a minute and a half before flipping it over. That's how you build that nice crust. That's how you get that char on the steak. All right, y'all, this, this part is, uh, this next part is wild. The amount of butter you're gonna use here, there's apparently no such thing as too much butter. So just butter the out of the pan. What you want to do is just constantly baste the butter with a ton of garlic, a ton of thyme, and then just 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 soak the shit out of the steak. You pretty much want to drown your steak in butter. This whole entire thing is just a butter steak, so that's what you're going for. Here. There's all that trial on there. If you're gonna try this at home, cook one steak at a time. Unless you have a big all right guys, next grab your meat thermometers and what you want to do is you want to baste the steaks until the internal temperature is around 125 degrees freedom units. That's right, freedom units. Or 51.7 degrees Celsius for the rest of your losers. Jesus Christ! Bro, please! Bro, why? So like I've been saying, this isn't a cooking channel, this is a learning channel and mistakes were made. So as you can tell, the temperature got a little bit over where it was supposed to be, and I'll pay for that dearly with uh, where the steak ended up later on. But you know, the whole point of doing this is to learn and then we, we nail it the second time. Apparently it's gotta rest six minutes. Apparently it's really important, steak's gotta rest, you know? It's not as easy as I thought. <laughs> So just like any single challenge we're gonna do here, my favorite part of learning is about iterating. It's about learning from my mistakes and trying things again. So from the first time that we cooked the steaks, we noticed that there wasn't enough room in the pan to baste. And it also made it hard for us to correctly measure the internal temperature of the steak. So the second time around, we made sure to cook the steak single by itself. So it made it really easy to baste the steak with our butter base. Gordon who? Gordon who? And then we made sure to pull it right off the pan once it reached its desired internal temperature. And then, yeah, this last day came out awesome. That's right. God damn. Let's try this one. Oh God. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. All right, all right, all right. Okay. Still better than yesterday. Flavor is good. Mm -hmm. Overcooked. <laughs> I think that one's gonna be perfect. Mm. This is so good. Middle, middle. That's that's what we're looking for. Oh yeah, boy. Yeah, boy. That's the Ooh. that's the one, baby. What are these steak places doing? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> uh.
By using YouTube and breaking down the steps, I was able to learn how to cook a great steak within a couple of hours. Going out to eat steak can be expensive, so now I can just cook a steak at home whenever I want. So what did we learn? Easy to cook, easy to prepare, and then here in a place like Medellin, you can hit a button and get amazing quality steak delivery. So this is what learning is all about. It's learning how to do it yourself. Once again, Tim Kim is not a cooking channel, but if you want to learn how to do cool shit with us, please crush that like button and subscribe because we're going to be releasing new videos every two weeks.